How important do you think networking is for your career and, and what kind of activities do you participate, whether it's through the State Society or perhaps through other business associations? I mean, I think networking is, is incredibly important. Uh, it serves a wide variety of purposes. Um, in, in public accounting, at some point in time, business development is an important thing. Um, and I think that, especially early in your career, the best thing you can do is a lot of networking just to grow your network, grow the people that know you and the people that you know. Uh, one of the best things that I did was growing going up into my career was just planting a lot of seeds early on. I want to know a good attorney. I want to know a good HR mm -hmm. person. I want to know um, good people in different disciplines. And it allowed me to pay it forward to my clients. And I was always looking for a way to help them. And that ultimately always comes back to you. Uh, so I think, I think networking is something that you have to start very early. You want to try to get good, develop good relationships with people at your level so that as you grow and they grow, you guys can become more relevant to each other. Mm -hmm. um, that would probably be the most important thing I'd say. Absolutely. I think you need to start it in college as much as possible with your professors. Very often they're adjuncts and they have real lives outside of teaching in colleges and, and that could be um, something that's levied later. Business development, it's absolutely important to know people and get in front of people and be able to, to leverage those relationships. There's a book out there called Net Weaving as opposed to networking and, and really the concept about it is is just introducing people to other people that can that can help each other. And and Chris touched on this earlier that really that's what the partners in your world need to want to do. You want to be able to help people and a successful way to do that is putting two people together. You know, you're not going to be able to solve every problem. I can't go out to every client and and fix everything in their world, but I sure as heck better know somebody who can and make that introduction and it makes you look valuable because you made that introduction. It solves the problem for your client or whomever it might be. And, and I think that very often people think about networking solely as a business development um, process. And, and it is used for that and it's important for that. But it, look at it globally and, and look at it from the standpoint of net weaving and, and it really being just introducing people and putting people together. and getting people to help somebody, talk to people about who, who do you want to know or who can I introduce you to, and just look at it from a different perspective of what am I going to get out of this event versus what can I give to these people because I'm a big believer in what you put out, you get back, and, and there's no better time to start that mentality and that belief and practice than in college. Um, one area for people who aren't comfortable doing it is going to CPE and just sitting down and speaking to the person next to you um, or getting involved, like I said earlier, in the society. Once I got to the state level, it wasn't a region anymore. Um, it was a much bigger platform because now I'm, I'm meeting people from all over the state. Uh, another thing, it may sound silly, but if you go to a function and they have vendors, um, whether it's a trade show or whatever it may be, those people are there to talk to you. Don't be afraid to talk to them. You never know who you're going to meet. You never know what you're going to say or they're going to say that says, oh, wait a second. You know what? I know somebody who needs that filled, and then you can do your net weaving at, at that point in time. Or, and, and you just, you know, I try and jot down a little something about the person I've met on a card, you know, whether it's their specialty, whatever it might be. But don't be afraid to talk to those people. If nothing else, it's good practice to just talk to somebody you never met before. And, you know, any trade show, that's what they're there for. So I, I, you try to take those opportunities when you can. I think, I think networking as well, one thing to think about is it doesn't start and stop at events. Um, you know, actually the most effective networking I do is, is oftentimes at, you know, somebody's first birthday party, right? It happens in the most unusual places. That soccer they, field. On the side of the soccer field. <laughs> I, I swear, I think the more, more, more great networking happens on the side of a mm -hmm. soccer field than in, in, any, in any actual event. And, and I think the, the message there is that it doesn't start and stop at events. I think it's about w exactly what you said. It's about developing relationships and weaving together what those relationships mean. Um, and, and a lot of times relationships happen in informal settings mm -hmm. where it's not necessarily a 
structured right. pro place. So think about it in that way. I mean, your network is not at networking events. Your network are the people that you know, which could be anybody. Mm -hmm. 